All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how I've been making money with plants during this pandemic because I'm a photographer and videographer. And during this pandemic, well, obviously work has slowed down to almost nothing because we have to social distance. And yeah, anyway, don't wanna talk about all that kind of stuff. But for those of you who are here from my other channel, uh, I am going to do the vloggy bits here with the 10 to 18 millimeter EFS lens. So if you're watching that video and you wanna see what vlogging looks like with this lens, you're in the right place. And for those of you who are here for the plants, I'm going to be vlogging about the plants and talking about how I've been making money with plants during the pandemic. So let's get into it. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on here. I've been growing plants for a while. I like plants. And when this pandemic started, I invested in these two Rubbermaid containers. And uh, what I've been doing is, uh, is growing some pothos in here. And I sell these pothos on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I'll take these lids off. And uh, they go pretty well. People, people like plants, especially during this pandemic. It's, you know, people are investing money in their houses and they want to feel happy and nice. And <laughs> I've got a ton of plants. I've got a ton of plants. I'm gonna, there's this one uh, philodendron vine that's come right across my, uh, that's a backdrop stand. So you put your paper rolls on there when you shoot portraits and you unroll the paper rolls. But uh, during the pandemic, it's turned into a plant hanger. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so let's take a look at what's going on in here. So this is my first container and I put my cuttings in here. So you take your pothos cuttings, you cut them at the node and uh, you put them in water and they root. So I keep everything in here. It stays nice and moist and humid because these are tropical plants and they like growing in these environments. And um, yeah, so it's going pretty good. I have videos about how to propagate all these plants. So if you want to check out the rest of the channel, I have videos talking about how to propagate these. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that in this video. But yeah, so this is stage one. I propagate the plants. I grow them. This one is actually really nice. This one came from that pothos hanging over there, the massive one. Those leaves are actually the size of my head. And uh, yeah, so I'm propagating that one. So if people want to buy pothos with big leaves. I guess it's just the older it is, the bigger the leaves get. But if you buy it with big leaves to start, it's uh, it helps, you know, it helps get the plant bigger faster. So that's the, uh, I guess the rooting box. And then here I actually have the plants growing. I had a bunch of, bought a bunch of different planters. Let's see if we can find one and pull it out here. And there we go, there's one of the plants, it's growing. And when, once they get to about this size, I throw them on Facebook Marketplace and sell them. And if you can see in there, there's water at the bottom. Let's see, I probably have to pull out some plants so you can see in there. What I did before is I had each one of these plants in a little plastic tray like that, and I would water each plant individually. And I found it so time consuming. So now what I do is I just water the bottom of the, uh, so as you can see, the little bit of water there. I watered them yesterday, so there's a little bit of water left. But the containers obviously have holes underneath. And uh, I just put the containers in the Tupperware container. And then I just fill it with water. I put about four liters of water in there every Monday. And the plants just soak it all up. And it works as a humidifier. So in the wintertime, obviously, it, it gets really dry. The air gets dry. And, you know, you get the dry lips and the dry skin. But... These plants work as a natural humidifier, so that's that's a total bonus. And yeah, just water them once a week. They soak up all the water, they dry out a little bit, and then I water them again, and they just grow nicely. They just keep growing and growing and growing. And these pothos, I think they're also called devil's ivy, and they're called devil's ivy because they're almost impossible to kill. And uh, yeah, they just love to grow. So let's pop these back in here. And if you're in the Toronto area and you want to buy some plants from me, just uh, message me on uh, YouTube or you can find me on Instagram and uh, yeah, we can set something up and do a socially distant transaction. So what I do is some of them I sell at, at this size here and then other ones I will pot up into these big pots. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I pot them up into these bigger pots and I let these grow a little longer till the vines really start hanging over and uh, the plant looks nice. So I sell big plants and I sell little plants. And uh, yeah, they're doing pretty well. People people love these things and uh, they're, they're fun house plants. They're really easy to take care of, especially if you're new to, uh, to plants. 
like I said, these are pretty hard to kill as long as you keep the soil moist from time to time. Don't let it dry out for days, you know, let it dry out to the point where it needs water, then water it. And uh, the plants do, uh, do pretty nicely. And it's always nice to, to green up your environment. At least for me, I, I enjoy this look. If you, uh, if you watch my videos on this channel or the other channel, you always notice tons of plants in the background <laughs> because yeah, I, I started with just one and then it just exploded. I, I liked it. So I got more and I got more and I got more. And then I don't even know how many plants I have in the studio now, but uh, there are a lot, there are a lot. So, so this, is, uh, this is what I do. This is my production line from rooting to growing to some of them I sell like that and some of them I pot up into bigger pots and they just go. And these ones here, that's an example of one that's ready to be potted up into a bigger pot. It's got nice long vines. And uh, yeah, people really like this. And the cool thing, let me flip that screen. And the cool thing with, with pothos is you can let them hang like this one is here. Or if you put a pole in your, your planter, they'll actually grow up like a vine. And when they grow upwards, the leaves get bigger. When they hang, the leaves kind of stay smallish. But this one here, this is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. This size comparison. I think the leaves are about the size of my head. It's crazy, right? I got to put this one in a bigger pot. I think it's ready. It's already grown down to the floor twice and I had to cut it back during this pandemic. And now there's another one here that's almost gone all the way down to the floor. But uh, yeah, those are nice, nice massive leaves. I like that. The vine itself is almost uh, the width of my finger. <laughs> that's great. When they get that big, they're fun. I like that. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, what I've been doing during the pandemic. I went out and bought these Rubbermaid containers knowing that uh, I wasn't going to get much business because everything's going to be shut down. So obviously this doesn't make enough money to supplement my my life. You know, it's, it's just a little bit of extra beer money here and there. But during this pandemic, every little bit helps. And if you can make a little extra money and then go treat yourself to a nice steak dinner or get a nice pizza or whatever, you know, all those little things are, are great for the, uh, the mental health. So uh, yeah. And the plants obviously are great for uh, mental health. They always make me happy when I look at them. They're, uh, they're fun. So uh, yeah, that is my little story on my, uh, my grow up, my little plant grow up. Now, um, it's nothing too fancy. We have these Rubbermaid containers. I have a heat mat underneath, which uh, heats them up from time to time. I don't use it that often. And then we got sunlight coming in through the window and I have some grow lights that I use from time to time. I'll make another video talking specifically about that process and how I grow them, but these are pretty easy. And uh, if you're a beginner and you're looking to grow some plants, definitely look into pothos because yeah, <laughs> they're, they're next to impossible to kill. Um, yeah, I don't know what, uh, what else there is to talk about here, but uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Peace out and I will see you guys in the next video where we talk more about plants or cameras if you're checking me out from the other channel. Peace. Stop.